Pa -ba. Hey everyone. What are you eating? A cake pop. Oh, a cake pop. Well, a simulated mm -hmm. TikTok. Mm -hmm. So good. Kind of a. Here's a quick way of making a cake pop. It's so good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello, Miss Lalonde. Hello, Nancy. Hey, everyone. Greetings. So greetings. Drink your water. All right. All right. All right. How is everyone? Good. We. I get it. We tried to get here right at six, but <clears throat> we had to go up to our storage unit because we are supposed to get like a foot of snow. Maybe a foot of snow. We're up supposed to, to start up to, but soon. Yeah, it's and, actually already started. And uh, we don't want. Slick roads. So, hey, yeah. anywho, welcome everyone. Um, so, if you're watching on Facebook, <laughs> or even on YouTube, I'm trying out a new feature where you just click a link. It takes you to a photo. Oh. And then you click on the photo of the item you want yes. to look at, it was very and cute. it takes you to another page. It was very cool. Check it out. You should check it out. It was really cool. Yes. So, first, welcome. We're just broadcasting live on our Chocotour channels, not Ken's Creations, because I'm trying different things to see what uh, the algorithm likes which i'm pretty sure just like short format videos so i think we're gonna have to start doing reels and short videos because they get all of the views yes um and it is hi bindi hi carol but um hi we're Beth. gonna do a chocolate tour project if you guys don't know what chocolate tour is it is amazing high-end diy you can experience chocolate tour a wide variety of ways you can shop directly from our website mm-hmm you can um, join as a team member, as a designer on our team, which is the best way because it's just nine ninety nine and you get forty percent off everything, and you get discounts on top of the sale because right now all Christmas is half off. Half off. Half off. I did these. Plus, deal. you get as a designer even more, yes. or you can join our club and get exclusive discounts, exclusive. I see that. Um, yes. which are amazing. And in fact, here's our club transfers right now. We have. This is November's. It's called All Through the Years. And this is um, December's, which is mm -hmm. uh, What a Wonderful World. Now, I do have the link to both of these in our Etsy store. So if you go to Etsy and look up Ken's Creations, Inc., you can find both of the digital files for these to cut on your own Glowforger machines or the cutout files for both yeah. of those. Um, for today's project, we are going to be using this transfer, which is called the um, North Pole Airmail. Um, once again, you can get the link down below. This is half off right now, so you can grab it. So I am using some cutouts. So now if you already have a Glowforger, your own machine, and you want to cut this out yourself, you can absolutely get that link in our Etsy store and or use the link down below and it'll take you to a landing page. On that landing page, you can either get the digital file for this cutout or the actual cutout. So let me show you yes. the cutout. So for the cutouts, we have, I always uh, do a one, I, I do an offset of 0.15 because mm -hmm. I think it looks the best. And you can get this cut out. So we have the cutout, or like I said, you can get the digital file on our Etsy store that I've already created and cut it out yourself. Um, this is just a really fun <clears throat> kit. And we're going to be using some pieces of this, but you can buy this um, <coughs> and get this whole cut out. For this project, we're going to be using all of these pieces. Um, so that is available. And. Chocotour wise, we're going to be using this transfer, like I said. We're also going to be using the simple shape rectangle, and we're going to be using five of our simple shape uh, five by sevens. They actually go with the A frame, but these don't have a hole punch. And why are we using these? Well, we're going to be doing a letter to Santa Claus. Yeah. And oh my gosh, it's so cute. So let me show Ms. you Killian. Hello. what I just uploaded to our Etsy store. Hey, Didi. <clears throat> so, this is in real size. Now, this is uh, just uploaded. It comes with, I think I counted, 20, <clears throat> 26 pieces. And some of them are cut on thick draft board. Some of them are cut on thin maple hardwood. So, let me show you. The first thing is a Dear Santa letter. So, you get Dear Santa. It's engraved with the Dear Santa. And then you get this which gives it some nice dimension. You get a stamp, a nice stamp, 
and a naughty stamp. These are engraved and scored. These are cut on draft, thick draft board. And then we give you five stamps that are on maple. And each stamp comes with... And this is maple plywood. Yeah. It comes with all of these pieces. I just dropped something. Uh -oh. Oh. And the reason why I did these on um, this is because they're actually going to be the stamps. We're using these to make it look like cards. And thick draft wood just was too, Way too, too aggressive. But you'll get... Let me show you here. Basically a half inch thick mm -hmm. by the time you're done. Yeah, it was just too much. <laughs> Hi, Hannah. It was a great, it was a great Thanksgiving. Thank you. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Nicole. Marie Dunn would like to know, do you design all the chocolate or cutouts? I do. He does. Okay, so, <clears throat> and then you also, I'll be also throwing these little pieces um, these are just the outsets of these, but these are kind of fun because you can use them and stencil them in kind of like a wood stencil on different things. So mm -hmm. all of this is available on our Etsy store already. So once again, this is thick draft board. This is maple wood. And you can see the difference in thickness. Like this is a thick draft board. This is the maple wood. Yeah. So one eighth and one quarter. Yes. All right, so all those are available as of now. And let's get started on this project. Now this project, um, Hi. super excited yes, you are. Uh, to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this. We are gonna be using the Aiden board. Mm -hmm. um, this is the 18 by 24 because it's magnetized. So we'll be doing that at the very end. But first, let's go ahead and have some fun with all of the stuff we have here. No, oh, sorry, gonna start with the stamps. Now the stamps themselves, let me bring them all out here. I'm actually keeping the maple wood from down below um, because I think it looks really cute. And then I'm gonna do the different colors on the stuff. Now, a lot of times on your maple wood, if you don't like the burnt look, but you like the maple wood, you can actually just take a baby wipe and a lot of times that burn mark will come off. I like the burn look, so it's, I guess, up to you what you want to do. We are going to paint all of these. So let me see what colors I want to do here. We're going to do green, blue, brown, <coughs> red, and uh, white. All right, so let's paint those first. Where do we get our wood? We get our wood from both... Multiple places, really. Sometimes we can get it at, uh, at Home Depot. Sometimes we get it at um, uh, Glowforge themselves. They have mm -hmm. a store. And then we also get it on a couple other stores, too. So it all depends. We try to find it whatever is cheapest. The cheapest. Yeah. Um, because wood is getting more expensive, as you all know. Thank you, Beth, for that. Okay, so I'm actually just going to use my Posca pens. I love Posca pens. And if you don't know what Posca pens are, they are um, essentially acrylic paint pens. And you can prep them and do all the things. And what's nice about this is I can just paint. use them to paint. Um, this way I don't have to get out all my Dixie Bell paint and... Uh, this just makes it quick and yeah. easy. Hi, Michelle. Especially since we're keeping that maple wood look. If this was a big item, I probably would paint it, but because it is... Teeny, tiny, and thin. Yeah, these are just... Uh, I think these are only two, two inches tall. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you tell by the... Since these are inches. These squares. And Posca pens are so easy to use. They come in a wide variety of colors. Mm -hmm. Barbie loves them. Yeah, I do too. And they're great for doing um, details on stuff or a lot of people do them to make drawings. I found them on TikTok actually. And I bought a competitor brand at first. And definitely it was not the same. So Posca is a, like a bigger name, I guess. Uh, it's like, I would say the brand name, yeah. And the nice thing is, is because these are scored, I'm just using my Cricut 
uh, strong mat. This is the strong grit. And it makes it really easy because nothing moves. So yeah. I do this to paint everything. Um, and the score lines make this perfect so you know exactly where you're going. Hmm. So let's do a nice blue snowflake because we're going to do him in white. So a good blue for Christmassy. What would you say, that? Yeah, that should work. I think if you go too dark, it'd be too much. Too much, Shawnee too says. Dark. It might be too dark. So I don't know where you guys are all at, but we're preparing for snow. Sean already has a, what is it, a two-hour start? Our, our, uh, yeah, they've already set a two-hour uh, delay already, even though it hasn't started yet, but it will. And then they said by 7 o'clock they'll let us know if whether we go in or not. Gotcha. So that means I can sleep in a little bit. So... Do you want to now, we haven't officially announced this, but since you guys are watching, we'll might as well, might as well since, hear. Since we, got, since we got the official word from the radiologist, who called me this afternoon, and then I tried to call him, and he wouldn't answer. I called again, didn't leave a message, and he's going, he's worried. Are you okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Because it's snow, and you know, he's, yeah. so I'm always worried, because if he calls me during when he has kids on the bus, I always am like, oh, it must be an emergency, because yeah. he's driving, and he called and he says, I just talked to, was it the vet or the actual radiologist? I call, I, no, I called, I talked to the, the reception or one of like the people in the back. Now we were hoping for four to six would have been perfect. Yes. Yeah, okay. um, four to six would have been a perfect number of pups because as Sean likes to say it, they have 10, 10 teats. Ten so it makes it easy for feeding and you don't have to rotate them out and uh, all that stuff. So what did they count, Sean? Radiologist said they found 12. Mm -hmm. So I had an official panic attack because, see, panic attack. What was that? A ghost. Oh, it was your phone. Oh. Um, um, Thank God it was just on a soft, soft Yeah, thing. no doubt, right? Uh, because you guys, puppies are a lot of work. And like Sean said, if you have 12, you have to make sure that they're all getting fed. And you have to break up the feedings in a way. Yeah. And Sean's already telling me, he's like, no, I want you to prepare. Because Sean knows, you know, I'm an emotional person. Yeah. And Sean's like, now, at this many puppies... Just anticipate they might not all survive. They may not all survive. Like now, if you guys remember Maya, our first female, she came from a litter of 15 and two did not survive. Um, so there is always that chance. As the the bigger the, the, there is, there is the more chance of having a stillborn or some that just can't survive or whatever it may be. So... We well, can't blame Hunter. She doesn't have all. He doesn't have all the eggs. She Hunter, I still he blame just, him. We still blame him. I for, still blame him for yeah. getting us in this mess yeah. because we didn't want pups. I know. You know, um, and he's going to be of no help. But anyways, it is what it is. Uh, so Sean is hoping, kind of, for a snow day to mark. So if we yeah. have a snow day, we have to. Because last time, if you guys remember, when we. Because I don't know where we're going to do lives. I think we might do it on TikTok this year or this time around. Um, but uh, we uh, had a whelping box. And mm -hmm. then you have the pen. Because the first four to six weeks, they really don't... Well, four to five. But by five is where they're all rambunctious. And yeah. And go crazy after And that. so we have to build that box. Yeah. And, well, if we had a snow day, Sean could do... Uh, Susie's in Coeur d'Alene and she says they've already decided that, well you guys are getting more snow because they I are, think I thought they were I think no as you go more east and plus they've mm -hmm. got a lake so they get a little bit of the lake effect like they did in Buffalo who got five feet so they yeah, get we're little, not getting they, five feet yeah, we're, not getting, we're not getting that I think the most we've ever had in one dumping is probably three feet which was back in 68, 69 somewhere in there they had three feet but in O Eight, the, yeah, oh, eight. Because I was looking at bank. Yeah, at oh, eight, um, they, American North Side. The total amount, if you were to add all the amounts of all the snow that we got, was well over six feet. It was almost seven feet of snow, but not in one day. Um, it was within within a, within two months. We had it just snowed, 
and it never got warm enough to melt so it just kept piling up piling up so every time you got some it was crazy so we're not even sure if we are going to be able to put out our outside decorations yeah and we don't really even know when cc is due we i'm i have we have ideas between december first and the and the and then of course within a week so you get a week's worth and then that's from the first meeting. Then the second meeting was four days later. So then that would make it the fifth as the first time to be able to do it. And this is counting at what? How many days? At 50... 58 to 63. Yeah, so, so I'm hoping it's not the second because that's this week and we are not prepared. We're, we're not ready. We um, are not ready. We are not ready. So uh, regardless if he has a snow day or not, the whelping box and pen is going to take priority i I've, think we still have the the pen part which is all of the yeah we have the fencing, the fencing the but the whelping fencing. box needs to be really pretty small and last time big. what did you how big was it that you built think, last time was it four by four five by five maybe i have these i have some big four by four uh wood that can be the in the in each corner and then i need to get some uh of course a uh special railing that goes inside so she doesn't roll on them up against the wall, so they can, you know, slide underneath. I got to get that put in, and then I'm trying to figure out what type of wood on the outside I can do. Pan, um, you know, like what do they call that stuff? Um, some kind of a paneling type wood. Um, it's expensive as all hell, though. But since I don't really have a truck, I do, but I don't. I need I need to get at least a sheeter or so to get out of it. So. Hopefully we will still be able to do a lot of lives on this channel, but let's be honest, uh, that's a lot of puppies, and yeah, that's going to be a lot of work, especially once they're shaking and moving around. Yeah. Sean keeps telling me, he's like, you'll get excited once they're here. And yeah, they're, we will. But it's not that I'm not excited, it's just... It's a lot of work. And I wasn't, we weren't planning this on might, it. This might be our last... We, I don't okay. think we'll ever do it again. Yeah, I don't think we need to do it again. We're just we're getting too old, and just life is just because because of it, we can't even do uh, leadership. Can't go to leadership because of it. So we're missing out on that. <coughs> well, we could, but I don't want to leave the puppies. No. I, last time when the puppies came, we got an incentive trip, and we were on a cruise, and I was a stress ball the entire time. Yeah. Even though I had a puppy cam and. Everyone's like, just relax. It's just, it was not, I just, it's hard for me. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and get that in there. Look at that. Can to can. I don't miss living in the snow belt of New York. I bet. I bet, Heidi. And when I heard Buffalo got five feet, I'm going, Ugh. I've never been anywhere where that's how much they got in a day. I have to run upstairs to get some um, hot or some um, glue. I'll be right back. All right. Some glue. Here, I'll just kind of try it. So once again, for all those who want to know, it's called Posca. Posca pens. As you can see, it's all in Chinese. <laughs> I think it's Chinese. Uh, uh, some of it's in Japanese. Man, no. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I have a hernia. Oh, my God, it hurts. Um... No, that's Japanese. Sorry. Yeah, that's Japanese. Isn't that cool? Now, if you can see this, because he didn't really wipe off some of the uh, the burn marks, uh, he'll probably have to do a second coat with this pan, so you can, or you can try to wipe it all off. So, or you can just say it's a dirty snowman. Huh? I was just saying that if you leave some of the non-burn marks, you just have to do a second coat to get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I have to do. Just make sure it's dry. I would have been a wreck going away with puppies at home, I bet. I know. Love your idea to use the Cricut mat. I use tape. Thanks for the idea. And this stuff washes right off. Now, this section here where it's all white, yeah, I scrubbed a little too hard, and boom, off it went. <laughs> so don't scrub really hard. Try to wash it as soon as you're done, um, and it usually comes off. I like to use a uh, the uh, what do you call them? scrubby, little scrubby, scrubby. Do we have one here? I'll go grab one. It works pretty well. 
And yes, the sticky nuts come back. It does. If you've never got these before, get them. They're awesome. This one smells like orange. There's orange, lime, and lemon lime. Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells so good. The other nice thing about Posca pens is they do dry pretty quick, um, which is what another great thing I like about them. Um, and I've been using them more and more just because, you know, normally, like I said, I would go through and get all the paint colors and on a bigger item, that makes sense. But on smaller items, this works perfect. Yeah. Be right back. Okay, bye. bye. Where are you going? Uh, I'm going to go out here for a uh, three seconds. He's gone. He's left me, everyone, to my own devices. All right, so we're gonna let these chillax off to the side and we're gonna get our cards ready. Okay, so the cards I'm using Like I said, I'm using our, these come in a two pack. We're gonna need five cards. And then I like to wipe them down with a wet wipe just because sometimes when you take these out of the packaging, um, they do have a little bit of dust on them. You can get these uh, at um, Dixie Bell and I believe Amazon. On, and leave on yeah. Amazon as well. Do they streak or are they smooth when dry, the paint pens, Marie asked. They're smooth. They're smooth. Yeah. Yeah. Is CC big? Yes, she is. She's right. getting there. I'm trying to find a way to show you. Here. Okay. All right, so the first thing we're going to use in this transfer is, there is this little squiggly line. I'm actually using this for kind of where the address would normally be because I didn't want to put like, you know, two Santa on every card, but I did want something. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the cards are going to overlap each other. So we kind of, when these actually go on, they're going to kind of do something like this. So you're probably not even going to see it a lot on them. So I'm going to grab a little bit of my transfer tape right now and we're gonna block it and to line it up i use a bright pad so the stamps would normally go or will be going like right about here how about the other way there we go hi rosemary I don't know if those let me do it while you're on that. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to add your phone. Mm -hmm. I That's a new feature. I don't know about that. Oh, I did that instead. There we go. There Hi, she babies. is. Hi, babies. That's how big she is. Sierra, where'd you go? <laughs> so, I hope you guys got that. It worked. <laughs> uh, Jen, we're getting... Twelve puppies. Okay, so we are going to do one right after another. So I'm just going to be able to lift it, paste, lift, paste, lift, paste. Mm -hmm. So, and you'll see I did some placement tape in that spot so we don't get that out. So we'll just go ahead and roughly right about there because the stamp's gonna be offsetting that we'll show more of her she can't get up and if she's too far back i can't oh, no. use my overhead what happened i have black on me uh-oh quick quick do you want to wash this 
Um, is it contaminated or just my fingers? Um, or? He had a spot, as you can see, that kind of fell off right there. What do you think? Yeah, because it's on the back side now, because it's going to okay. transfer. Yeah. Puppies, cheaper by the dozen? Maybe. <laughs> So the nice thing on our boards is you could just grab a little board eraser and it comes off like magic. And I'm not too worried about the little itty bitty squiggly mark there because it will be uh, kind of distressed look anyways. Okay. I don't even have any water out here. So the great thing on these transfers is they can be used pretty much right away. We're just going to dry it. I just use um, a Norwex window cloth because it's super absorbent, which is really nice. Date, or are you gonna take? Or are you just gonna be real careful? I'm gonna try to be careful. Yay! I am just rough today. You got more paint on your fingers? I must. <laughs> I'll go wash my hands. Do you want to do one? You want me to do one? Yeah. Can you not? Oh, I'd probably mess it up. You would it, not. I, I would need tape. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm not good at that. He's not good at that. Did you guys hear that? Sean's not good at it. I think you would have been just fine. <laughs> just peachy? Mm-hmm. Rouse is whining. She can whine all she wants. Ever since she's gone on, what? they found out she is, because I had a feeling she was hypo hypoglycemic, and so I told that to the vet, and they finally did a test. She's hypothyroid. She is, and so they have her on meds, and it just, I don't know what it is about these meds, but she just whines for no reason. Sometimes... For food, obviously. She There's... whined so much last night. Oh, my goodness. She even woke him up. Yep, twice. All right, I'm going to go clean this. You can dry those real quick. You're going to use your spongy thing, though. Got a little spot here. Get the little one. Little heat. Hi, Jan. Yes, uh, Kristen, it is Riley who is, uh, she's the one that had seizures, so she's on seizure meds, and also now a thyro, thyroid, thyroid pill tab, they call it a thyro tab. 
and he's being a poop. Now you can tell he's being a poop. He's yelling at him. He's horrible. Cute dog, but sometimes he's just a, just a pain in the butt. What now? He just takes every decoration outside. What do you take outside? What do you think? The the elephant? Yes. He loves the elephant. We have the elephant from uh, the Misfit Toys. That dog. And he just take he, it's it, of course it's down low, but it's like stop taking it. It's not yours. He don't care. I know he doesn't care. All right, Hi, so buddy. let's go ahead and put together our little postage stamps here. So we have. I'll move this out of the way a little bit. We'll start with one. We'll start with the tree. I'm out of my favorite glue, which is my DAP. Um, but this, this will work. This works too. This is the uh, Gorilla one. And it has a little brush on the end. <clears throat> Usually. Sometimes the brush doesn't come out with it. It's like this. You have to, yeah. You get it? You don't, have a, you don't have a pair of pliers. That's what you need. I have to go get that for you. Okay, you do that. I'll be right back. Well, we'll use the old fashioned way until he gets me my pliers. It doesn't take a lot of this stuff. My favorite glue I'm out of because I used it a little bit of our... Uh, decorations broke and I had to use my I guess I can use it I just have to use the paintbrush which is fine I'll use a cheapy one because it's in the bottom and there's not much left but this is so light that it won't take much. And these line up perfectly, as you can see. Look at that. That's so cute. Did you get it open? Nope. All right. There you go. And it's got score marks, so you know exactly where to put everything. There you go. Use that? I don't know. I didn't have a choice. I'll throw it away. I did not have a choice, Sean. It was I slim pickings. I thought you'd be right back. Well, you know me and patience. Yeah, I know. I have zero. Get, oh. Get stick fast glue in thick. Okay. What's that? That's what. That is what Kristen says. Get stick fast glue in thick. Okay, I'm on it. Don't I don't know what it is. I but don't know what that is. We'll look into Hi, it. Hi, I usually, my dab usually works perfect. I just, seriously, we had, probably this was the worst year for stuff that broke. Mm. So many things broke. So I had to do a lot of, every time something would break, Sean would be like, surgery. So we had to fix a Mrs. Claus, a Santa, yep. some little toy thingies that were on one of my decorations. And I used Dab because it works. I love that super glue. Mm -hmm. Heidi goes, I just thought of something. Think of all the beautiful trouble hunter babies are going to be. Let's hope not. Listen, that dog, I love me, my hunter. He is... I, when I told Sean, he was like, what do you want if, you know, because I love my Toby. I love yep. something about my blonde little boys that just, I love. And I said, I like a golden that has a personality and is a little bit ornery. Little mm, bit. Yeah. He is not a little bit. He is stubborn. He has this, what we call side eye. Where you'll tell him no on something, or you'll say... He turns his head and just looks at you. He turns his head and has this look out of the side of his eye that's like... You talking to me? You talking to me? Like, 
the, last night he sat in my spot on the couch. I sit in a corner of a couch and I said, Hunter, move. I said it and said it. Sean had to physically move him. Yep. Physically. Physically. He did not want to move. Kristen says it's called Stick Fast, but pick the thick one. And you can find it now on Amazon. All right. Thank you very much. Aloha, Janet. Yes. And Barbie says, yes, it's really good. And it comes in a bigger bottle than Dap, <gasps> oh. which would be good. It's awesome with wood. Okay, stick fast, Thank you. thick. Got it. My dog has the side stink eye, too. <laughs> it's horrible. You, do, you dog owners know exactly what we're talking about. Well, and he just, he is, has an obsession with taking everything. If somebody has it, he's got to have it. Oh, it's, she opened the door. Between uh, Riley and Sierra, if they have something in their mouth, he wants it. Even though you can give him the exact same thing, he doesn't want that one. He wants the one that's in their mouth. Like right now, he wants the ball. She dropped it and he took it. Didn't you, you little shit? I did the goyle. All right. So these will end up going here. I'm going to hot glue those. Mm -hmm. But here's what those will look like look when they're that, all right? on there. Look at how cute those are. Uh, OMG. All right. So the letters are pretty much there. So now let's go ahead and work on our naughty and nice rubber stance. Okay. Why are you we have all here? these dogs behind there, so it's getting chaotic. What are you doing back here? He's looking for anything and everything he can put in his mouth and run outside with. Hi. See? No, See? That. Listen, you are not a good dog. You think you... No. You think your handsomeness and your kisses can get you out of trouble. <clears throat> hey. No. 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 Listen, Thank buddy. You. Listen, buddy. Where did you put all my phones? I have them over here. Oh. So which one would you like? How can I help you? Is there something we need? What can I do for you? I tell you what. Okay, so let's go ahead and... What color wood stamps normally... If I remember right, the, it's been so long since I've used a wood stamp. What color are their handles usually? Black. Are they? Mm. Oh yeah, I guess they are. Yes, I do know I need to take a look at this, but who's got the time? Look at what? A possible hernia. Did you tell me all you had that? Yes, I did. Oh. How'd okay. they do it? Yeah, it's basically black. Yeah. And then this is usually just kind of a wood color. I kind of like it, just that burnt color. And then I'm going to do this kind of in that reddish... Like rubber stamp color that they usually have. You know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? In fact, I think my Posca pen might have kind of that color? a burntish red. Maybe not. Maybe I didn't get that pack. That's orange. That's orange. And that, what color is this? It's like a pinkish. Pinkish, yeah. Huh? Yeah, it's pinkish. Yeah, and it needs to be more of a... He has a golden retriever. Cream, but not an English cream. I think the line of English cream is probably somewhere in there. All right. He doesn't wait for them to drop it. He takes it from them, literally out of their mouth. Well, first he barks at them. Or growls. Or growls. And then waits for them, like Sean says, to drop it. And then he's just not a good dog, you guys. What is CC doing? There must be a ball down there. It's possible. There you go, Becky. I kind of like the look of the naughty and nice burn. What do you think? It is kind of cool. What are you looking for, little girl? Hey. Oh. You got big, fat boobies. Milk, milk fed boobies. Filled is what let's say. All right, where's your ball? Oh, it's right there. There you go. Hey, okay, go outside now. He is a cutie, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's for sure. That's debatable. And then later he comes in prancing with the item like he's won a prize. Yeah, he's done. He does that too. All right, 
I've got, yeah, my dad's had three hernias in his lifetime. I've had none. Until maybe now. I don't know. And I'm just thinking that's what it might be. I don't know. I could be completely wrong. But it's very possible. You don't want your ball, little girl? Telling you, she's not wanting her ball. She's not wanting to eat. Yeah, we gotta, I, we gotta get her I'm to eat, hoping though. puppies are not on the way already. Not yet. I might have to feed her just food food. Like, maybe we'll, on our way home, run to the fast food and just get a couple of hamburgers so we can have some meat. Well, I don't know if she needs that. Right. I mean, I, I'm giving her some really good stuff. Please get it checked. I know. I got I to gotta find time. <laughs> you know, when you go to... I'm not, I don't think I need to go to an ER. I could probably just go to... What do you call it? I don't know. Urgent care. But I have to go to a special That's pretty care. good. It is. I like it. I'm liking pretty that. Pretty good. Still doing the handle blackish? Yeah. Good. I love how much you love your pups. We do. We really do. Beth says, there's a meme that, that is like, if it's yours, it's mine. If I see it, it is mine. If I find it, it is mine. <laughs> it is so hunter. So true. So true. Wow, Angela. 17 years old. That's pretty good for any dog, really. Yes, I know. I got to make time. My mom's dog. I'm trying to remember how old Sparky was. He was almost 18 or just yeah, a year older. Yeah, he, he was old. He was a tiny dog. He was a palm. Yeah, and little dogs usually last. Last know. longer, yeah. I mean, that one golden lived to 20. That was like a world Which record. golden? There was a world record. Lived to be 20. Really? It'd be great if dogs lived that long. All right, we're going to let those dry. Look how cool that is. All right, so I want to do the handles, I think, in a nice kind of black color, but I want it to be kind of a stain. So I am going to grab just my, where is it? I don't know. I don't know what you're looking for. How do you all think she'll do as a mom? Um, Casey asks. Um, we're hoping well. Um, Maya did very well with her, but with two of hers and Riley did pretty well with hers. Riles wanted out a lot because Riles was used and so is CC. That looks good. Um, they were used to us being home. So she always wanted to come out and be with us. Mm -hmm. If you did not see what he used. Oh, it's not on yet. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't sure when you That's okay. It should. It's, it's a full battery, so it should heat up quickly. This gave it a really cool um, distress kind of look yeah, to it. Let's see if I can zoom into those a little more. So it's like, uh, it's not like it's completely painted with the black with that ink. Since he's stamped on top of it, but it has a little bit of the wood in the background, which make, kind of makes it cool looking. And then I'm taking this Posca pen and I'm just kind of um, pushing down on it and it's making little divots because rubber stamps have kind of a, um, you know, a little bit of a texture to it. I love that ink. It is pretty good ink. He's got some nice stuff. Oh, thanks, Beth. Cool. That looks good. Okay. We're just waiting for our 
They are pretty cool pins, aren't they, Gabby? Yeah. They're pretty Glue awesome. gun to start up, and then those will be glued, and then I can do my stamps. I'm going to put these back here, and then we have our Santa letter. So on the Santa letter, I want... Oh, excuse me. Um, man, what do I want to do on the Santa letter? Hmm. This should be red and, white, uh, red and blue. Well, red... Blue Ready. and kind of green, maybe. Red, blue, green, because that's the color of the stamps. Okay, yeah. And then this is needs to be a white kind of... Blue. <sighs> so we're going to do this kind of in a nice khaki-ish color. Well, it's not khaki, it's buttercream. Buttercream. Ooh, I got to clean that one, don't I? Probably. Yeah, I see a buildup along the edge. It means it was never cleaned. Never cleaned. Sad day. Now, drop board in general, it will absorb a lot of your paint. Um... So you might have to do a couple coats. Couple of coats. So do you think you'll get a snow day tomorrow or no? Um, probably. You think so? Yeah. You don't think just late start? Oh, well, we already know late start for sure. Usually the way it works in Spokane is once one school district does it, they all start. And then they all start doing soon. it, yeah. All right, so we have a kind of a base coat. I'm going to do the same kind of process, except for I'm going to grab a lighter color. This is going to be called Hayride. This is just going to give it kind of a nice antique feel. Hard to see on camera. I think it's hit. Well, you're here in real life, Shawnee. So I'm looking at the I'm looking at the oh. monitor. So if I can see it on the monitor, they, they should see it too. Our Beth says we're dropping into the 30s overnight from the 70s today. Oof. We I woke up and went to work and it was eight. Degrees. Ooh, that's not fun. No, it was beautiful outside. It was sunshine, not a cloud in the sky. Yeah, you said you needed almost your sunglasses. I needed my sunglasses, today. but I didn't. I didn't bring them. But then it became, then it became cloudy, and now it's probably starting to snow or about. Oh, to I think I mixed these up. Uh oh. Should they be the same? No. See, one goes to one angle. One. I mean, you can't really tell, but if you buy these, make sure not to mix them up like I just did. There is a difference. Hi, Jess Al. All right, let's go ahead and put our stamps on. Since we have our hot glue, let our... 81 in Dallas-Fort Worth. Oh my gosh, these are too cute. I love mm, them. I know. <laughs> Eight degrees, no thanks, yeah. No thanks. Bye, no man. 
Uh oh, Jen. She burnt her egg rolls because she was so interested in what we were doing. Mm, egg rolls sound good. Mm. I like um, the Vietnamese style egg rolls, the fresh, fresh style where the they're wrapped up in the uh, rice oh, yeah. paper. And I like to put, I like to put uh, shrimp in mine. Mm, so good. All right. So there is those. Look at those. All right, put those off to the side. Even though they should all be dry, I need some room to do my Santa letter. We got our naughty and nice stamps all done. Okay, so Santa letter. Ooh, I'm really liking the look of this. Mm -hmm. I want to get another light. You need this one? What? This. No. Good. Bye. Move it out of the way. Move it or lose it, buddy. got some more different colors. I'm going to use old paper. This is a Tim Holtz one, and this will give it some more distressing. I really want to give this kind of that old, you know, it's been to the North Pole distress. Uh-oh. Job opening. What ink? Paint. Love. Well, I guess we get to buy some more paint, y'all. Because that was a big old thing of paint he just had go down the drain. Hunter, what did Daddy just do? Is he in trouble now? All right, we're going to let that dry. But look at that. That looks so... Cool. While it dries, I'm going to go ahead and get fluff down. Fluff isn't their brightest white, but it's pretty close. And then I just wet my board really quick just to thin out the paint a little bit. Because we're also going to go for kind of not a super distress, but I do want distressing of this. And then I'm going to go very gently over the engraving of the Dear Santa because we don't want too much paint in there. Actually, almost looks perfect. I almost don't even want to distress that. I really like how that turned out. I was going to, but now I already kind of. Spritz it with a little bit of water, and then we can, there we go. All right, that looks so cool. That 
looks so cool. All right, let me clean up my paint here that I got everywhere. Shawnee cleaned up his down the drain mess of Rooney. Uh, <laughs> True that. Janessa, hey, hey, finally caught us live, yes. Hope you got your uh, item you ordered. Hi, Charlotte. Why is feeling frosty not part of Christmas? Should be. What do you mean? Hmm. Carol says, why is feeling frosty not part of Christmas? Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. I can report that to Chalk Tour and see what they say. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they do forget, like, to add things to the sale and things like that. Um, all right, so we're going to grab the colors we used for our stamps. So the green. I'm not going to use the brown just because it's, it's brown. And then we'll add some distressing on the envelopes here. So we have three different colors. So I'm just going to use my Posca pens. Squiggly lines is part of this transfer, Brenda, which is the North Pole Airmail. Hi, Janelle. Oh, good. I'm glad you got oh, that. Oh, I messed up. Blue should cover that, hopefully. Oh, yeah. Wasn't paying attention. What I love about Posca pens is they're just so vibrant. Mm hmm Yeah. Do you need to go grab a chair? No, I'm okay. fine. Oh, okay. I just don't want to cough or... Hmm? I just don't need to cough or anything. <laughs> it hurts to cough. <clears throat> He's getting over a cold. I did. And I tested for COVID and it was negative. Negative. Yay. Negative. I really like how this envelope turned out. Yeah, I like it. Turned out really cool. So what do you think this Christmas is going to be? Should we tell them what we got for Christmas or are we doing a surprise? I think you should do it as a reveal. Oh, okay. But we did buy a toy. Well, it's not a toy. It's are a, you excited? I am. I, I think it's going to be great. Because there's things that this thing can do that I, I enjoy. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Ouch. What hurts when you cough? Right here. You need to have that looked at. See, your diaphragm is right here. Or if you have a rip, which is a, which is a hernia, and your intestines fall down. How What's really bad is if you have intestines that go down into your, you know, air sac. That's really how, bad. How, how do they fix a hernia? Surgery? Uh, surgery with mesh. My husband how do you get a hernia? Uh, usually lifting something or a really bad cough or something. You Which just, we did a lot of lifting this weekend. a lot of lifting, but not enough. I've done lifting before. I've never had a problem. Ever, ever, ever. I mean, we did. Yeah. Our, I mean... You guys, we were so both tired yesterday. I think we mm. both were in bed by 9.30. 10. Um, normally, I'm up to like midnight. But when we... My best friend Ali's husband nailed it on the head one time when I was like, Hey, in Puerto Rico, what do they... You know, how do they decorate for the holidays? Do they focus more on three kings? What do they do? And he was like, Oh, you know, they do this, but they don't remodel their house. And I was like, What is he talking about? And then... As I'm putting up my decorations, I'm like, oh, I see what he's talking about. Because we take everything down. Yeah, all the regular stuff that's up comes down. 
Mm-hmm. Because it's got to take the place of the same spot. It's and not like so you just throw it up and leave it's it. It's not just a little... I mean, it's a... And now we have a storage unit that we put everything in. Mm -hmm. and, and it fits great, but that means multiple trips. We don't have a truck. No. And so we had to borrow my brother's. And it's this truck is like it's living old, on it. It's an last old... Leg. Well, not miggled. It's like a 70-something... 250 camper style from Canada because all everything's in kilometers. I know that's so weird. And it is so hard to drive. It's it dies. His, his old one was a his older one. The one what happened this one, to that one? He got rid of it because I think it finally died. But it was a stick. <laughs> oh, I remember that because yeah, so I could never not, drive it. Yeah, you could never drive it. I still don't know how to drive a stick. Isn't that weird? People make fun of me all the time. Yeah, it is what it is. All right, that turned out cute. Tried, I like that. You tried driving my uh, 300Z ones. Did not go well. Did not go well. No. Yeah. I thought that was black. I was going to do it in black, but I don't want it to be too much of an offset. So I'm going to do it first in yellow and then add black. So it gives it some nice shadowing. Where is my black? Oh, here it is. All right, so let's dry that. Yeah, this all happened in the last five hours. <laughs> it's like I was fine, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, why is this hurting? You probably can't see it too much on screen, but you got a little bit of that yellow mm -hmm. coming yeah, through. It's hard to see. But yeah, I can see it. All right. So we got that part done. It's all coming together, Shawnee. Yes, it is. Can't wait. All right. So the last thing we want to do is this. Now, this is going to go on a rectangle. Our simple chef's rectangle. And the way I'm doing this is it's going to say Santa. We're going to put this border down here. And then up here, we're going to have North Pole express and then this will say to santa so i'm thinking i'm going to do that in black and then do the red blues and greens in that what do you think i think that would be wonderful well thank you sean it's so nice when he agrees so we're going to grab caviar caviar we do have one more thing we do need to do before we can say we are complete, and that is um, bring in our other tree from downstairs. Yeah, we still have to do that. Luckily, it's here and it's just out in the shed. But your house always looks like a Christmas wonderland. It does? Yeah, I guess it does. It's so funny because. I always remember as a kid, my mom decorating, you know, like all day and we would have bins and bins. And my dad and brother reminded me like she had maybe three bins, Kenny. And I was like, I don't have that many bins. And then once I get them, oops, I got paint on the computer. Uh, once I get them on the actual, like once you get them in your house, I see how much I have. And Sean's like, you are not buying anything else. This we year. don't, we have no more space. We have no we more do, space. But we don't. We and then don't. what did I do? You bought more stuff. I rushed to TK Maxx to buy more stuff. Yeah. And do you have a... Yeah, I need more of those. All right, so just like we did on the other ones, I don't want a perfect paint job. I kind of want it to be a little bit... One of these days I'm going to have to get a new keyboard. <laughs> okay. So let's dry that. kind of see where it's not perfect it just looks kind of like it's got a stain almost which is kind of what I wanted all right all right so let's grab my colors here we're gonna do candy apple my green I don't really have a green that matches that bright green I think this will be the closest meadow okay. the blue I think I'm gonna do that one yep yep lakeshore 
Lecture. And then I need bright white. Will squeezing a pillow help? I think so, because when I when I do this, when I push in like this, it, it helps. It, I, you just don't want to push outward. So we are going to be using the Santa, the Express. Oh, yes. There are some things that we don't use anymore from time to time. And then, yes, we usually give it to Goodwill. We have a couple uh, bin and a half or so of stuff that needs to go to Goodwill. And, and it's Christmas and stuff. So and it's This Christmas year time. I've been really good. I used to not get rid of any of my mom's stuff. Even if I didn't put it up, it would... You just stay here in the house. So. Yeah. And this year, Sean's reminded me we have honored it. We have spent 20 some years with it because she died in 2004. So we're almost at 20 years. She would be very happy that you. Only can have this one. Uh, you know, displayed it. Because some of this stuff is like literally falling apart. Oh, yeah. Um, like, it's so sad. We had. Uh, she had these um, Indian candles and little pilgrim candles and they are very reminiscent of my childhood and and we had this is the, the first time one? we've had a storage unit and we had a small storage unit and everything was pushed up 10 against, by 10 yeah it was all pushed up against the pack wall and i didn't realize how hot it got in there and as i'm taking out stuff any candle that we had didn't survive but they were really bad because the way they were put in the bin they were draped over a blanket, so they were all like this. Bent over. And I was like, maybe I could save them. And Sean's like, mm, no. No, this needs to. This needs to end. This needs to go. Needs to go this away. is going. Bye bye now. <laughs> bye bye, yeah. All right. So we are going to do, let's see, I want to do. I don't think it's appendix. I think appendix is on this side. Isn't the appendix on your right? Mm -hmm. And now it is different. On, there are some people who have them on the other side, but. I don't think it's an appendix. That that would not be good. Although it's an easy it's an easy surgery, but just don't want it to burst. That's when it gets bad. But when it is bad, you usually have a fever and blah blah blah, and I don't have that. Beauty. Trying to figure out all the colors I want. So that's gonna say that. Santa's going to be in red, and so is the two. So I'm going to do probably the the North Pole in blue, this in green then. Okay. So these are cutouts. Once again, you can see where, like I said, I do, I like a, I always say 0.5. That's what it's like in Adobe Illustrator when I create it. I like it to have that perfect kind of offset look. Um, Hello, Don. Might be diverticulitis. Mm. Ooh, can you? Hope not, but I don't. Can I don't you? Uh, what do you need? That's too thick. Okay. I'll do the next one. This guy. So this will be to Santa and the North Pole. So we'll start with this. Okay. Yeah, that is thick. Guys, I'm not super excited about this whole short video, but maybe I'll get into it because I'm telling you, that is the direction the world is going, is quick three-minute chalk tour videos or crafting videos. I'm trying to fall in love with the idea. It's just not my style. But to grow, we have to evolve, right? Mm -hmm. And now is the time we have to evolve. Or we just retire and go back to work at 95. The reason I think it's not diverticulitis is I just had a colonoscopy not about a year ago and everything looked totally fine. You did? Mm -hmm. I don't remember that. Yeah. Hmm. Have we watched any Christmas movies yet? Uh, so we watched the new Santa Claus series. We're caught up on that. Yeah. We started yesterday the new Christmas story story. 
But as I said, Christmas, I Christmas story Christmas. Christmas story Christmas, sorry. Yeah. And but like I said, I was watching it and I was already yawning and I look over and this I'm, guy's out. I'm out. And there's certain things I will let him sleep through. Like I know he's like, eh. But that one I know he's gonna like, so I paused it and said Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. And he says, That's the best idea you've had. Where are we? Let's go. Alright. I will give you these to go clean. Is that one ready? Yeah, I think so. You can Perfect. take it, see if you think it's good. Looks good to Kenny. Well, how do you know? You haven't even tested it yet. I trust you, Shawnee. You washing these? Yes, please. Okay. If you don't go too far, I'll let give you this one, too. Okay. When you do black behind bright colors, it almost gives it a cool neon look. Thanks, Sean. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got the North Pole. We got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. We got lids. And now we can put it on. Well, first I need to make sure it's dry. But, and I have a little bit in my red here I want to fix. Just a little bit. Little bit. Who out there is embracing short form videos? Give me pointers. Because obviously I'm not good at it because, well get me now. We're what, probably at two hours on this live? I don't even know, to be honest. Okay, let me dry these. It's the nice thing about this stuff is it dries so quick. All right, so I do know this one is going to go in, well, I should probably place it all first. That would be the responsible thing to do. You're okay, CC. Rudy the Red Nose Reindeer. Now that's going to be stuck in my head. I would like to know what you guys think of the Santa Claus series because I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I'm not in love with it so far. It's all right. I see what they're trying to do. I get the concept, but it's hard to follow up such a good original. The second one was all right. I did like the third one, but I'm a Martin Short fan, so I think he is hilarious. Jenna says, the first Santa Claus was my fave. I strongly dislike short videos. I know, me too, but listen, you're, gonna, you're preaching to the choir. How about still doing long videos and edit time lapse for the con? Yeah, I might contact? do that. I don't know what I'm doing, peeps. I don't know. I'm telling you. All right, so I'm gonna grab my magnets. And let's get this board put together. Right on, right on, crouton. Right on, right on, right on. All right. These magnets are the bomb diggity. I love them. They are very reasonably priced. And on our magnet boards, they work perfect. Sometimes I do, uh, depending on how heavy a piece is, you might have to secure it with a little bit of hot glue. Um, 
Because they're not like meant for really. Yes, Jan, this is an Aiden board. This is their big one. The third was my favorite. The new series is eh, so far. Eh, that's a good way to put it. Eh. Eh. Hi, Sandra. Thanks, Sandra. I learned nothing from short videos with these. I learned something new each time. I think, I'll figure it out. I think the people that want shorts is to wait till lives is done and then fast forward to the video. I mean, don't get me wrong. I I, I like watching TikTok. I do. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's just sometimes getting out of your comfort zone. Well, not even your comfort. It's getting out of what you normally do. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Okay, so these are going to be kind of placed in different spots. Heidi says, I watched like five minutes of the new series and turned it off. Really? That's sad. All right, and then my naughty and nice are gonna go like here and there. That will come up a little bit. Now what's cool about these is if they don't fit on your items, you can cut them. And those did fit. All right, so on the cards, what we're gonna do is basically we're gonna glue first. Maybe I wanna do that one. Sandra, he's using the um, Chalk Couture's five by seven, what are they called? Uh, shapes, simple shapes? Uh, yeah, they're the ones that go with the A-frame. Here, I'll grab them real yeah. quick little A-frame thing that you can use on both sides, but you have to cut a hole in them. So this is what they are. Let me zoom in here. Question is, who is your audience? You. If you want to attract the younger peeps, TikTok. If you want the older folks with money to spend, longer format. You're funny with money to spend. I like you. That's Beth. <laughs> Beth. You know Patty, me. I love the long lives. Oh my God. Love all your ideas, but this is looking like my favorite. Need a little, need a little silver or white on the stamp handle to bring it, bring the black out. Ooh, good idea. Like little, we can do that. Like a little highlight. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry a little bit before I put the magnets on. A little <laughs> silver stuff. <laughs> it's over? No, it's white. Hmm. Well, you know, this is the best one yet. They're all good. This is so creative, says Fatima. <laughs> Beth is not wrong. You know, you're right, Angela. She's not. It's, it, it's, it is. I mean, you really have to look at who is your audience. I'd say you guys are old. That's definitely not what we're saying.
markers where you can get those cutouts. Marketing 101, know your target audience. Yep. How do you come up with your ideas? Sean got to kind of see this one in process. Yeah, I did. I wasn't quite sure until she, he said, I'm going to do this, this, and this. I'm going, oh, okay, I get it. Oh, my goodness. I love this. This looks so cute. It would, I almost wish I would have, before I glued it, distressed the envelopes a little bit maybe on the sides. But other than that, it looks good. I, think it looks I good. could still distress it, but what do you think? No? No. No. Leave it as is. Your envelope uh, on the Dear Santa shirt turned out nice. I love it. All right, let's show you up front. All right, let me flip. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I <need> the, sorry. <laughs> I want it to go up a little bit. Love it, love it. So cute. Here, let me see it. Will you hold it up so I can go see it in the front? I like to always see it in the... Oh my goodness, that looks so good. I know, doesn't it though? Oh, the nice and naughty with it burnt like that looks like it's an old... Go look at it. I'll it's hold a, yeah. it. Oh, I can see it from here. Honestly. Isn't it cute? Yeah, it looks look like at it. It looks like it's been used and put away wet. Yeah, love it. Do you need my mailing address? <laughs> it's so cute! Oh my goodness, I love how this turned out. So the way I came up with this idea is I always start in Adobe Illustrator with my frame size. Mm -hmm. And then I tell Sean, I usually look for an SVG or designs. And then I always say, what transfer am I going to use? And I loved the Santa transfer. It actually, to show you how evolution happened, it started off on a door tag. And I was like, well, this will be the postcard. And Sean says, that doesn't remind me of a postcard. I was like, yeah, you're kind of right. And so then it evolved into, well, I want to make letters. And I was going to cut envelopes. And then I was like, oh, we have these perfect size stamp or cards. That would be cards. And then it just evolved from there. Yeah. And then I show Sean and he says, um, uh, And then okay. as it comes together, can I please share a pic with this idea and a link to my video on my plate? Yes, of yes, course. Yes, you may, Leslie. I, I like how you inked the handle. I know it turned out really nice. And then go like here. A little bit. Yeah, didn't those turn out fun? Yeah. Great idea, whoever did that. I forgot who. Let me see. It wasn't too far back. That came from. And you wouldn't know all of this was done with Posca pens, really. I know. You would never know. And then all of this we didn't have to cut out. These are all stuff you oh. can get. Marie Dunn is the one that came out with Thank that. you, Marie. Thanks, Marie. Um, all Good of idea. these you can get at Chalk Tour, so these are all just shapes that are already done. This shape's already done. And I wanted, here's the whole thing, was I wanted this to match the size of them actually matching the envelope. There you go. So that's the reason why this is so big, is this was actually <laughs> intentional this size. So Rosemary says, can you put me on the nice list? I've been good please nice that's fun nice hope you feel better i do hope i feel better too this is so fun i love it i don't know where it's gonna go but i love it i love it yeah all right everyone i am gonna bid you adieu yeah um oh it would be cute with little santa hat oh, little santa. Yeah, yeah maybe it's a good idea you have to see if we can find one or make one yeah Oops, it's not for glue gun. So, one final look. And a reminder, we will not be live tomorrow because we have meetings. Yep. And we could be under a foot of snow. Yep. That's so fun. Um, all the links are down below. Uh, everything is live on the cutouts. If you want to grab those, you can. Mm -hmm. And other than that, we will see you guys all in our next live.